good morning or whatever time of day it is for you when you're watching this but either way welcome to brambleberry i uh had a little update i wanted to share on the uh earth tubes and how they're doing in some cooler weather out so if you want to see the update stick around If you've been watching our uh, previous videos on this, you know we have an earth tube that we are experimenting with that we have going into our solar shed here. And it goes underground here and all the way out down around there somewhere. And so we, we pull air in with a fan up this and into the solar shed. And the idea with the way these earth tubes work is that you tap into the constant temperature of the ground uh, to either, I don't know if it's heat or cool, but more like regulate the temperature of a space. Uh, this is just a big experiment for us because we've never built these before. There's things that I didn't do like I probably should have, and now I'm trying to make it better. So... Uh, when I put this in, it was in the warmer months and I was trying to cool down the, the solar shed and that didn't have very good results. But today when I woke up, I decided to come out and check temperatures because it's cooler out like 32 degrees out right now. And I'm going to give you a look at the temperature of the air coming into the solar shed from the, uh, earth tube and then what the temperature is inside the shed slide on here so we are at 49.8 it was 50 degrees before i started opening all this up and then if we put down there on the tube we're at 51 ish degrees coming in i would say that is a pretty good result uh, for the colder weather and it seems that it may be working better uh, for the colder temperatures than it is or was for the warmer temperatures but i have some ideas for making it better and i guess i'll go ahead and share those with you i don't know when i'll be able to get to it but when i have some time i will I don't know how well this comes across in the video, but the the ground here settled quite a bit. And so there's a, oh, I don't know, probably five inch trench going down through here. Until we get out here, then it kind of, uh, it wasn't as deep, so it didn't settle as much. So that is not insulating as well as it should because it needs more dirt on it. But I haven't put dirt on it yet. Because I think what I'm going to try and do is put some foam board on the ground first. And then I'm going to pile dirt over it. And uh, we just put in a road extension here. So I've got piles of dirt like that, like all over here. And it's all topsoil. So what I'm going to do is berm up dirt all where this pipe is especially down here because it gets shallower down here it's not as deep as it should be well actually the whole thing is not as deep as it should be i ran into rock and i can only dig so far with my little backhoe so you know from down there all the way up here berm this up and even more so down here is my idea and hopefully when i do that it'll maybe uh, simulate that it's the earth tubes are deeper. I don't know how well that's going to work, but we'll just have to try and find out. But anyway, that's for another video, and that's all for this one. And as always, if you watch, I thank you for watching, and I hope you have a very blessed day.